In this video, I'm gonna prove to you that sinx differentiates to cos x. Let's make a start. So, the function I am trying to differentiate is sinx. My gradient formula from first, principle, from, <laughs> from first principles is the limit as h tends to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h, which I have proved in a previous video. So here is my f of x is sine x. What would be the value of f of x plus h? Well, all that's happening here is my x is being replaced with x plus h, an upgrade. So we are replacing it. It becomes the limit as h tends to zero of, so remember we're replacing x with x plus h. It becomes sine of x plus h minus f of x, which is sine x, all divided by h. Now with this, we can use our addition rules, which again, I have proved in a previous video. It's a really easy expansion. It doesn't work like algebra. It's not sine x plus sine h. It is sine x cos h. Yeah, it goes sine cos sine cos. And sine keeps the sine the same. So plus sine h cos x. So sine cos sine cos. Then we have minus all divided by h. Depending on where you are, the proof looks a little bit different. But in England, where I am based, we do it slightly differently. We do a factorize. We factorize out sine x from these two terms. What would we be left with? We'd get cos h, not to be confused with cosh. So we factorize out sine x, so I'd get cos h minus one. And we have that plus sine h cos x, all divided by h. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna split this fraction. This plus separates these two terms. Now the next thing is both of these limits depend on h. Within this, we have sine x, which has nothing to do with h. So it's actually a constant value with respect to h. So this sine x can come outside of the limit, and here, the cos x can come outside of the limit. So let's move it. Yeah, we get this mite. Now, here, we need to consider what this limit is. Now, for small values of h, the cosine graph basically looks something like this. It's about one. So we get one minus one divided by h, which is zero. Yeah, there's your cos graph. It does that. With the sine graph, which looks like this, for small values, it's about h. It's a straight line. So this is about h. h over h is one. This whole thing is about one. So we are basically left with sine x times zero plus cos x times uno. That is zero, and we are left with cos x, and that is a beautiful proof. Nice. You show up and hit the like button? What are you doing, bro?